All right, we're gonna hit the ground running because I did not have any coffee this morning and that's a bad thing. So I picked up this. Now, this is, I don't even know what this is. It's not sponsored by Monster whatsoever. That's what it is. But this is Java Monster Coffee Plus Energy. And yeah, I can't wait to see what this tastes like. This, yeah. Ooh, it tastes sweet. It's coffee. I thought that this was, whoa, this is good. I thought that this was an energy drink, but this is coffee. Wow. Salted caramel coffee plus energy in a can. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. All right, but today we're not talking about that Java monster whatever. Today we're talking about updating the firmware of your Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art lens. Because I did this yesterday to my lens and the results were like mind-blowing and that's why I can't wait to share my experiences and the how to how to do it and why to do it with you guys and let's see if I can do this in less than three minutes let's go There's been a lot of controversy on various Facebook groups and YouTube videos about the IBIS of the R7 working and not working with the Sigma 18-35 at 1.8 art. And as you know, this lens is my, my go-to lens for everything. So therefore, I want to address the little myth behind the IBIS not working with this lens. And if you are suffering from the problem of the IBIS not functioning well with this lens, well, today we're going to resolve that issue. But as a Warning, and as a disclaimer, you have to spend a little bit of money to do that because you have to buy a little piece of tech, which I'm about to show you in a second, but it's not too expensive and the results will be like way worth it. And the piece of tech we will be talking about in this video looks like this. Yeah, it doesn't look like much. This is the Sigma USB Dock UD01EO. I, I did not memorize it, it says it right there. But this is the device that you need to update your Sigma lens firmware. Now the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 art is an old lens, okay? It came out like over 10 years ago. And back in the day when it was introduced, mirrorless cameras were not a thing. IBIS, the in-body image stabilization, was non-existent, it was just future technology back then. So how could a lens manufactured and designed over 10 years ago work with modern cameras without an update? And therefore, a lot of firmware updates are now available for that. If you purchase this thing, the ice hockey puck looking device, you can update the firmware of your lens at home. Once you have this USB dock at your disposal, all you need to do is to take the lens and connect it into your lens like this. And the next thing you do, you take the USB cable like this, you connect this end into the dock, and this end into the computer. <laughs> well, I did not have to explain this, but I did anyway. And the rest of it is done on the computer, so let's hop in. Whoop. All right, the first thing you need to do is to download the Sigma Optimization Pro and install it to your computer. After that, when you open up the Sigma Optimization Pro, it will automatically detect the lens which you have connected to your computer and into your dock. From there on, it's pretty plain and simple. You can see some product information about your lens, like the mount, serial number, firmware currently used. On mine, it says now version 2.03 because I did this update already yesterday and I was like amazed by the results. And that's why I'm making this video right now. You just click the firmware update and the optimization Pro will look into the most latest firmware for your lens. Now I came from version 1 point something and I thought that the IBIS was working well decently. It wasn't perfect but I managed to use it anyway. But when I installed the latest version, the version 2.03, I was like stunned by the results because it felt like this lens now has its own stabilization system built in. It, the difference was like between night and day. When the Optimization Pro finds the firmware update, just hit update and it will do it automatically. But a word of warning at this point. 
Do not touch any buttons on the lens. Do not remove the cable from the computer or the dock while it is doing that. This is crucial because if you tamper with the lens, if you tamper with any of the buttons, anything at all, you may end up destroying your lens completely. And that's something that we do not want to do. So a word of warning, this is exactly like updating the firmware on your camera. Do not touch any buttons while the computer is doing the update. This is important. When the optimization pro says that the firmware update is complete, you can remove the lens from the dock and then just connect it to the R7 that you're using and voila, you're done. And you can see the results straight away once you start using the lens, especially if you're shooting video because now the IBIS and the lens work together like like a match made in heaven. <laughs> I cannot even explain it, the difference is so huge. And the other things you can do with the Sigma Dock and the Optimization Pro is adjusting the autofocus. So if your lens seems to be a bit off focus when you're shooting either video or taking photos, you can do the adjustment here on this program by yourself. So there's no need to pay any extra money to send this lens to a repair shop to get adjusted because they will only most likely do the same thing there that you can now do on your computer. Keep in mind that this is not the only lens that you can optimize with the Sigma Optimization Pro. There's a vast list of lenses that you can optimize with it and I will leave a complete list down there in the description so check that list out if you think that your lens might require a firmware update. Alright that's all I have for you guys today. It was a quick one. If you enjoyed it hit the like button, subscribe if you have not done so already, check this video out if you want to see some photos taken with this magnificent piece of art. Have an absolutely fantastic day and as always I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. And I will continue devouring this one. Mmm. Very good.